All too often this time of year we do stories about nativity scene theft. And finally, there is a high-tech solution David Wright investigates. Well, stealing baby Jesus is a particular problem this time of year. Uh, in many communities across the country, pranksters think it's kind of funny to boost the baby from the local nativity scene. And the churches are not amused. And a growing number are fighting back, backing up their prayers with the latest technology. He is the symbol of the season, a tempting target in part because he's so vulnerable. I think teenagers being teenagers like to uh, kind of challenge each other, you know, who can steal what. And um, sometimes they kind of cross the line a little bit. Stealing so, baby Jesus is a... Is, yeah, it's crossing the line a little bit. It's not a new crime at all. Back in 1953, Dragnet devoted a whole episode to it. There's a statue missing from the church, a statue of the child Jesus. You mean I took it? But these days, a growing number of churches aren't counting on Joe Friday to solve the case. They're taking matters into their own hands, installing a tiny tracking device about the size of a pager into baby Jesus. We'll pray for the person who stole it, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to follow him home and find out where it is. Technology is ecumenical, of course. Um, a lot of synagogues are worried about their outdoor menorah, but we've also got all sorts of other outdoor festive scenes that have been targeted in the past. Santa Claus, for instance. Santa Claus has been tracked this year. So obviously we want to put this to the test, but when we told the standards and practices folks at the network about our story, well, they were not at all happy about our taking baby Jesus here. So how about we go for a wise man instead? It is a senseless crime. Comfortable? Always has. The man with the steel statue, he'd be crazy or something like that. The only place he'd want to go is where crazy people are. You may be right, Mr. Blair. You won't find him as long as you live, or in a million years. Not so these days. Nowadays, you can track him in real time. The following takes place between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Melchior has exited the zone. <laughs> As we drove Melchior through the streets of Long Island, the parish was able to follow our every move. They're driving up Hempstead Avenue right now. They just passed Norwood Avenue. I hope the wise man here knows the way back to Manhattan because I sure don't. It took less than 15 minutes to find us at Angelo's Pizza, grabbing a quick bite after our getaway. David. Very impressive. We would not have gotten We tracked you down. Shame on you. Vigilante justice? Perhaps. But the only book the church really wants to throw at a thief is the Bible. Well, I hope you'll, you'll forgive. Well, that's our business. That is, after all, what the nativity scene is all about.